Japanese culture is a mixture of traditional and modern culture, and in Tokyo you can find all of that in close proximity. You will find temples dedicated to cats and modern interactive art exhibitions inside a forest at night. No matter how much time you spend in Tokyo, it remains fascinating and a fun place to be. My name is Tina and I'm living in Japan for about seven years now and on this channel I'm sharing my life in Tokyo. Hi guys, my name is Tina aka Tokyo Diaries. I'm living in Japan, I'm making videos about my life here in Tokyo. So and this video will contain a lot of different things. In September I went back to Germany and before I went back to Germany I went to this amazing exhibition in Tokorozawa with a friend and I never published the footage about it because for some reason I wanted to film on that day and for some reason I filmed only a very small amount. It's not enough to make actually a separate video. So let me talk about it now and let me show you in this video just shortly what exactly um, I'm talking about. So, <laughs> Hi, I'm today in Higashi Tokorozawa. I uh, met up with a friend because she told me about some kind of exhibition. Let me call it exhibition. It's by Team Lab. It's digital art. And this one is actually outside, inside of a park, I would say. They call it Acorn Forest. Yeah, and we're currently waiting for it to get dark. And we just found this nice place inside this huge building here and going to get a coffee or something. And then we wait half an hour until they light it up. You can slightly see it maybe in the background. So, but it's already dark, so I'm not going to kind of explain every. There's not much to explain to it, but apart, it's just beautiful. So, let's go in. It's about like 1000 yen, right? The entrance fee. Yeah, exactly. She just told us that we can touch it and it changes color or makes sound. Does it? Does it? No. It doesn't really. But she told us that we can touch it. But shouldn't it change? Yes. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't, I don't think, but that, that's fine. <laughs> but they change in general. They change colors and the sound is really beautiful. Okay, so that was happening before I went back to Germany. And today I'm going to meet a friend uh, close to, somewhere close to Shimokita Sawa. I made a couple of videos about Shimokita Sawa. It's a very nice area. And there is a very exciting temple. I would call it a cat temple. It's not the official name. And then after that, we're going to a super cute, very exciting cafe. It's actually called Shirohige's Cream Puff Factory, but that doesn't tell you anything about what's going on there. It's unofficially, it's like a, Ghibli movie Totoro cafe kind of thing um, where you can buy Totoro shaped cream puffs. Ah. Yesterday I had my health examination. I always have this in December. It's very unique to Japan that your company, in my case my office, is always making me do a health examination once a year. It's a very general examination and it looks a little bit like a conveyor belt. So she, where you go in and they send you from one station to the next very quickly. The interesting thing yesterday was that maybe because I turned 35 this year, they made me do a stomach examination and that was science fiction. I can't describe and I wish they would allow me to film in there. Unfortunately can't, but like this stupid stomach examination yesterday. They made me drink a couple of things first, like some kind of, not really medicine, but something to basically be able to probably see what's in my stomach or how my stomach looks like. I have no idea. And then they were basically scanning it. But I, I think like the way they did it, it looks like a ride in an amusement park. Um, you have to stand in this thing 
and then it I don't know it pulls back and you're lying like this it, it's moving like some weird ride in an amusement park and they scan your stomach and then uh, the woman the staff is telling you that you have to move too you have to for example you have to turn around one time turn around the other side turn a little bit to the left turn a little bit to the right um, then they pull it up again and down and I, it's crazy this examination was so so weird and then also I had stomach pain the rest of the day because of what was going on there so uh, yesterday was kind of weird day so and then also I don't know if you can notice it while watching um, this video for example I am going to move this year next year sorry it's December I have been planning that for a while so lately I have been selling a lot of stuff and giving stuff away um, to make it a lot easier for me I will try to find a temporary share house where I'm going to stay and about the details and everything else I'm going to tell you more next year also I'm going to film everything like the moving out process and moving into a share house in Tokyo so maybe you've noticed I don't know if you have noticed it but the things in my room are getting less and less I arrived at Gotokoji Station, which is basically the name of the temple we're going to today, and I'm meeting my friend there. So, um, well, let's go. Maybe in this video you can see how the weather can be in Tokyo. Like, it's December and it's super hot. I'm regretting I got a, a jacket with me and this pullover. And that's in the middle of December in Germany it's snowing. So and I'm close to the temple. Should go either left or right from here. Yeah, no, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, and this is the first time for me to come here and to come to this area of Tokyo. See, at the moment here's nothing. Very small streets. Every area in Tokyo is really very different. Like the atmosphere and like literally everything. So that's maybe one of the reasons why I love Tokyo so much because you can always explore new areas and it's always changing here and there a little bit so it really never gets boring and um, there are as I mentioned there are a lot of different areas so um, yeah oh I'm a little bit exhausted but now I'm on the right way Oh my god, guys, this place is super beautiful. Like, I'm now at Gotokoji. This is the, I would call it a cat temple. Already on my way here, I saw in the streets, um, here and there, some like cat figures and just, what was it, cat shaped um, hayaki, something like that. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful temple. And we still have amazing weather today. It's still kind of like autumn today. Maneki Neko, also called Lucky Cats, have become a popular part of Japanese culture. At Gotokoji, a Buddhist temple close to Tokyo, you can find an endless amount of Lucky Cat figurines. But what made this temple a home to so many cats? Well, there's a story to it. Gotokoji is said to be the birthplace of the Maneki Neko. Legend states that during the early 17th century, Ien Naotaka, then the second lord of the Omi Hikone domain, escaped from being caught in a sudden thunderstorm after being invited inside the temple by a cat that lived there. To show his gratitude to the cat, Naotaka decided to dedicate the temple to the Ie clan. After he passed away, the temple was renamed to Gotokoji from his posthumous Buddhist name. The cat therefore was deified and said to bring good fortune. Over the years, worshippers have donated Lucky Cat figurines. You can buy a cat figurine yourself and either take it with you or leave it with the others at the temple. You should make a wish when you buy one 
and if you take it with you, it is advised to bring it back to the temple once your wish becomes true. Yeah, we have a couple of people here, but it's definitely way less crowded than other popular tourist spots, I'd say, in Tokyo. So I definitely, I always recommend Shimokida and this place, this temple very much. Maybe it's even better if you come early and maybe even if you come during like autumn or when the leaves are still red slash yellow. I mean, you can see it's now December and we still got like red autumn leaves here, which is perfect for photos, to be honest. So, um, but you never really know when the leaves will fall down or whatever, like the sea. It's still December. I can't believe that we are so lucky and we have this amazing weather today here. Okay, which one did you get? Uh, number two, a uh, small one. <laughs> yeah. And one of the Goshuin. Yes. Yes, one of the Goshuin. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do with that? I take it home. I make, make a wish home, and make take wish. it home. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And if the wish comes true, you have to bring it here? Uh, right. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but still, hopefully it comes true. Yeah. It's really cute. So, hi. We're now close to the cafe I talked about earlier, which I actually called Shirohige Screen Perfectory, and we're close. Uh, no, it. Das ist es nicht. Das ist es nicht. So, and. There are a lot of people here, so I'm worried that we won't uh, get in or that we won't uh, be able to buy something, but fingers crossed. It's three in the afternoon and we were, unfortunately, we were told that they were already sold out and also that they would usually they have lunch and they have those Totoro cream puffs but it's it's too late like everything like lunch is already over and the cream puffs are sold out unfortunately we'll try to get in and just get a drink they only have drinks after that unfortunately i don't know like um yeah but we'll still get in and see how it looks like Got in. I will just show you what we're going to get. As I mentioned, they only have drinks left, it seems. I hope that we can at least get a cute drink. But also, um, we really want to see how it looks inside. My friend is only here today, probably, so uh, yeah. <laughs> She wanted to see it from inside because it's a really cute place anyway. But if you come here to get a, a cream puffs, you have to come here early. And for lunch, it's until three in the afternoon. So I told you that they don't have anything for lunch and they don't have any cream puffs left, but they had some bread. They want this up for us, so it smells really good.
we just we finished our coffee and our bread. I'm really happy that we got something to eat here. And I guess we will go back to the station now. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you then in the next video. <laughs> Oh, die Stufen. Da steht immer noch oben. Ja, wie gesagt, die machen. Ach, die machen später zu. Genau, die da oben machen um fünf.